Hi everyone. Today, Chester and I are gonna share with you a bodyweight legs workout for strength and mobility. That's one of the really great things about bodyweight training is we're not just building strength, but we're really working on our range of motion. So let's begin with a warm up. The first thing we're gonna do is a little warm up circuit involving stretches and some movements to increase our range of motion before we start with the strength exercises. For this one, you wanna place your foot up on the yoga block and you'll find that makes you lean back slightly. So you wanna think about keeping your ribs down, keeping your body stacked, but shifting forward so that we're now stacked in a nice position and you're feeling that calf stretch. And we're just gonna hold here for 15 to 30 seconds. If you find you're someone who needs to spend a little more time in positions to increase your range of motion, then go for the longer time. We're gonna take the other foot. Make sure you're not turning your foot out. So when you're placing your foot on, if you're stretching in this position, we're not stretching the way we need to be stretching for things like our pistol squat unless you're turning your foot out on your pistol squat, which is not what we're looking for. We're looking for that nice forward facing foot. So you wanna stretch your calf in that position. So we've got 15 seconds on each side. We're then gonna stretch the other side of our leg. So for this one, I love this exercise. You're gonna place your yoga block back here and you're gonna place the middle of your foot on that block and you're gonna sit back. Whew, so you're getting that nice stretch up the front part of your shins. Now for some of you, especially if you have any kind of knee issues, this might be too intense, this position. Right, Chester? I have to tell them what they do, okay? So if this is too much, okay, Chester says, stand up, you can have a support for this if you need a wall. Bring your foot behind you and then you can stretch the front of your leg in that position. The important thing here is we're not letting that ankle roll out to the side, so we're keeping that foot facing forward. So again, the, the position that we're in, super important. So if we're doing it standing, 15 to 30 seconds each leg. The next exercise we're gonna do is a step-down exercise, and this is one of my favorite exercises for improving ankle mobility for pistol squats. So. You're gonna stand, you can use a, just a regular step or stair. Um, I'm just using a couple of handstand blocks here. So you're gonna stand on that. You're gonna reach this heel forward as you bend down to touch the floor. You notice I'm getting a nice ankle stretch through here and I'm coming back up. So I'm reaching that heel as far forward as I can. I'm not letting my heel lift off the block reaching forward, and I'm gonna do 10 reps on each side. The last exercise we're gonna do in this warm up is we're gonna activate these muscles here. So you're gonna go into a forward fold position, either hands on the floor or if you're a little tighter in the hamstrings, you can place your hands on some blocks or a step. And keeping your hips where they are, you're just gonna lift your feet. So you don't wanna be leaning back to get that lift. You wanna actively pull your feet off the floor. And you're gonna do 10 reps of this lift. So that's our warm up. You wanna repeat two to three rounds of the calf stretch the front of your shin stretch, the step downs, and the foot raise. Okay, let's get started with the workout. So what we're gonna be doing is we're doing supersets. We're doing a leg strength exercise, which are gonna be combo moves. I'll show you what that is in a second. Um, alternating that with a static stretch exercise. So this acts as a little bit of a rest, but also something to help increase our range of motion. So the first one that we're gonna do, we're gonna do an ankle stretch, and we're gonna alternate that with a pistol deadlift combo. So for the ankle stretch, you're gonna come down on the floor, you're gonna set up so that your knee is directly over these middle two toes, and you're just gonna to lean 
keeping your heel pressed into the floor. You're going to lean forward for 15 seconds on one side. And then you're going to switch it up. Knee comes directly over that foot, 15 seconds on this side. So just a little stretch through the ankle here. We're going to go into a pistol to deadlift. And then I will show you a variation if you can't do the full movement. So You're going to perform three to five rounds of that superset, alternating the ankle stretch and the pistol to deadlift combo. For this next combo, we're going to do a modified pigeon stretch with a curtsy squat to Cossack squat combo. Okay, so this one's pretty fun. We can also do a modified variation of this with rings or TRX. So for the modified pigeon stretch, you're going to set up Front leg out at 90 degrees, back leg at 90 degrees. The most important thing here is we're in a comfortable position. So if you find your legs up here, you're leaning to the side, fill in the gaps. Put a cushion under your knee. Uh, you can put a cushion under here. You can lean to the side slightly. Okay, so you're in a nice comfortable position and you're going to lean forward. And we're just getting a nice stretch on that outside of that front hip. So 15 seconds on one side, switch over to the other side, you square your body over that front leg and lean forward, 15 seconds. So our curtsy squat to Cossack. So for this one, you're going to start by stepping behind. So you're going to step one foot behind the other one, coming down, so you bring your knee down to the outside edge of this foot, come up, step to the side, come down into your Cossack squat. So just go as low as you're comfortable. This might be, this might be where your comfort is. You might want to come all the way down. From here, you're going to come back up, bring your feet back together. Now, if you can't get that power to bring your feet all the way back together, stand up to here and then bring your feet together. And we'll do the same on the other side. So we step behind, bring our knee down, up to the side, and cross up. Okay, you want to step a little further. I was just going off the edge of my mat there and then coming back to the center. Okay, so we can either do these without a support or with the TRX for a little bit extra support. So we do three to five rounds, alternating the modified pigeon stretch with the curtsy to Cossack squat. For this last superset, we're going to alternate a couch stretch with a shrimp squat to leg raise. So for the couch stretch, you can either use something like this bench or you can just use the wall. You're going to set up, you're going to bring your knee in close, set up with that foot nice and vertical, rotate your pelvis, tuck your butt, and you're going to sit back, so you're pushing your body back, trying to get this vertical, and you're going to feel a nice stretch up the front of your leg here. Again, 15 to 30 second hold on one side, switch sides, tuck your butt under, push back, 15 to 30 second stretch on this side. You're going to come out of that. For the shrimp squat to leg raise, the first variation you can do is going to be a step back lunge. Okay, so from here, you're going to step one leg back, you lunge down, come up, and you're going to lift your knee, and you're going to hold for three seconds. One, two, three, step back, one, two, three, and you're trying to lift that knee 
as high as you can, as close to your torso as you can. So we can make this a little more challenging with the shrimp variation. So the first shrimp variation, you're gonna have your arms, both arms at the front. You're gonna step back, okay? Your knee touches the floor. You're gonna come down. You're gonna lift one, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, the next variation uh, we can make even more challenging. I'm going to switch legs. You're going to hold onto one leg. Other arm comes out the front. So you're going to sit back, come down to this position, up. Bring your knee up, and this time you can straighten your leg and hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Bring that leg back. One, two, three. So you're gonna alternate the couch stretch with the shrimp squat to leg raise. You're gonna do three to five rounds of that. And that is the end of your workout. You wanna finish with a little bit of static stretching, bring your nervous system down, do some breathing, and then go enjoy your day. If you want to get a PDF handout of this workout, with all the exercises listed out, use the link below, sign up, um, and I'll send that PDF right to your mailbox.